So I got some good feedback from that last video. The stud is still there. And I want to make this clear for everybody. The stud is threaded into the, the transfer case here. This is the transmission housing. And it's just a pass-through hole. It's seized in here. This stud is actually corroded right to the side of this. And I can't get it out. So, you know, I'm, I'm fighting two things that are holding it. The threads are holding it. They're probably seized. And it's seized into this, this here. So I've been, you know, hitting, hitting it with heat and uh, rust uh, gel and all sorts of things. Now I'm starting to get it to move a little. I can hear it creaking. So it seems to be moving. So I'm going to heat it again and put two hands on it. So I'm going to shut the camera off and give it another try. Well, going on day six, we'll see if today is any better. I'm trying to hold the light for you guys, so you see what I'm up to. I really should get the tripod out, show you my new tool. There it is, back on it, day six. And I just can't get that sucker loose. And what it is, is the corrosion is built up so much inside of this hole against the stud it's like a wedge so all i could do is is push that rust dissolver gel into there and let it sit overnight and then pick at it with this tool i made and it's really not going deep so i'm not getting much of it so you got to figure this whole half inch it's not threaded the threads are back here but that whole half inch is all packed with with uh, corrosion, which, you know, as it corrodes, it expands. So it's so tight that you just can't get it out of there without cracking this casing of the transmission. That's what, that's what the fear is. If I force that, it'll snap that ear right off. And now I got a transmission to replace. So what I want to try is if I could spin this a little bit. And all I got to do is get it to spin enough to release that tension. And that thing should come right, come loose. But to spin it, you know, if it snaps down here on this side, that's great. This will separate. If it snaps here, then we're back to the same problem. And I guess if it snaps in the middle, maybe it'll release and maybe it won't. So it's, a, it's taking a chance. I found the trick to getting this off. You put the vice grips on. And you take a second pair of vice grips and put it right there. And tighten this a full turn. I use the screwdriver to turn it. Through here like this. And then I can loosen up piece up here about 15 degrees and just keep coming out like that and taking my time yeah so we're getting it moving by hand so we're about to go yank it out that stud will come out now yeah do you want me to take it out might as well take the stud all the way out now i get on the other side and the tool we should be able to pull that transfer case down set it down safely Okay, let me get on this side and catch it. Oh, look, what's that? ATF or gear oil. Coming from where? Transmission side. The transmission's leaking? Probably. Is it coming through? Maybe. It's right to tell. Well, there it is. Got it out. Now we got to work on replacing it. The guys at George's took care of us. Thank you very much. So now that the uh, transfer case is out of the way, you got to feel for what I'm dealing with. So this stud is trapped. So to get it out, I got to cut it off right here. Then I can get it out. And this is the stud that we've been 
dealing with it. It's all chewed up on this side and it's still in there. So I'm just going to try tapping it with a hammer to see if it moves. And even if it does, it's not going to be able to come out of here because it'll be trapped in there. But we know we tried pushing it the other way and it didn't come out. And now it's in there pretty tight again. So I'm going to go get the pry bar and push on it and see if I can push it through the other way. But that's the corrosion that's holding it in. That's the only thing that's holding that in. It obviously has got to come out before I put the transfer case in, the new transfer case that we picked up at George's Auto Parts. Now I'm trying to get that stud out. <laughs> Just trying to work it loose. The corrosion must be really bad in there. I put a pry bar right there and kind of give it a little push while I'm moving it back and forth. Oh, slipped off. But it's starting to come out though. Just shows nothing's ever easy when working on this old stuff. The last thing I want to do is break the housing on this transmission, so I don't want to hammer the heck out of it. But I'm sure by going round and round, you see that white corrosion right there that's probably through the entire half inch of aluminum and that's what was holding the stud it works so there it is look at all that corrosion so that should have just pulled through, but that was stuck to the wall. So all the old studs are out. I think the only thing we need to do is make sure the right linkage is on the new unit, which is right there. And get rid of that and put that in and we're good to go. So there's the new unit, just about ready to be installed. We'll do that tomorrow morning. It's a good place to take a break for now and Tell everybody thanks for watching.